You're watching WPTA-TV 21 Live News at 5 with Keith Edwards, Melissa Long, and Brent Trinum. Good evening. Topic on news tonight. Fire investigators are still searching for clues into an arson fire started at the Allen County Republican headquarters. Police say although there are no suspects at this time, they think they know how the fire began. Firefighters were called to the building about 10 o'clock this morning. Allen County GOP Chairman Steve Schein tells 21 Alive it appears that sometime last night someone may have stuffed a lit cigarette or match into an opening in the outside wall. He says it apparently smoldered until it ignited a bookshelf. What would have been catastrophic uh, would have been if the fire actually caught uh, destroying the building along with the other historic landmarks, including Coney Island, uh, which are directly adjacent to the building. The structure suffered heavy smoke damage, but very little fire damage. Fire officials are asking anyone with any information on who is responsible for starting the blaze to call Crime Stoppers at 436-STOP. Smiling is something we all take for granted, and we don't often know how lucky we are. But one area girl who's never been able to smile now has that chance. ABC's Martha Weaver has the story. For Cameron Engel, it's a show of emotion that has been inside, but now it will finally be on the outside. He knows. He said he's going to be able to smile. The four-year-old was born with Mobius syndrome, a rare paralysis of the facial muscles. Cameron's mother has never seen him smile. Normally parents get that when the kids are a couple days old and they smile at him. I never got that. Muscle and nerve transfers from his legs gave Cameron a half smile in May. On Monday, the other half of Cameron's grin received the same treatment. We take it for granted as something that we do as a reflex, but for those children that don't have that ability, it is a special gift. The sense of job satisfaction, if you like, is really tremendous in this type of surgery. Six-year-old Elizabeth Outman is also on her way to a visible smile. The Fort Wayne girl suffered a stroke just before birth. She loves to tell people my smile is broke, but she says they're going to fix it. The Altman family will endure one more surgery, and the Ingalls will need healing time. But apparently, the weight won't compare to the dazzle of their children's smile. It eases your pain and your concerns of uh, what they're going to go through. That it, uh, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. When he says, I love you real clear, and he smiles on both sides, that's going to hurt. Martha Weaver, 16. Will English be the nation's official language from state to state? Supreme Court justices heard an explosive dispute about that very topic today. An issue is whether it is constitutional to allow states to make English the official language and require that most government actions be taken in English. Today, the court focused on procedural hurdles that must be cleared before a ruling is possible. Indiana is one of more than 20 states that have an official English measure. For more information on the English-only debate, go to the 21 Alive homepage. If you are a member of a credit union, then you may have to change the way you bank. Today, a federal judge ordered the industry's federal regulator to restructure its expansion of 31 credit unions. The order prevents employees from signing up members who aren't part of their core charter. Now, that credit union national association estimates that 3,700 consumers will be turned away nationwide due to that court ruling. The man who was convicted of killing a guest on the Jenny Jones show will have to wait a little longer to find out his punishment. A judge in Pontiac, Michigan, delayed sentencing Jonathan Schmitz indefinitely. Although Schmitz's fate was supposed to have been handed down today, the judge said he'll not make a ruling until the defense and prosecution settle their differences over the probation report. The defense says the report, which recommends at least 25 years in prison, is inaccurate and unfair. Schmitz was convicted of second-degree murder last month for killing Scott Amador after he revealed his crush on Schmitz during a taping of The Jenny Jones Show. In New Hampshire, a woman who admitted to killing her husband after years of alleged abuse is released early from prison. 33-year-old June Briand will be out on work release in April and paroled a year after that. She was originally sentenced to 15 years to life for shooting her husband four times in the head. Briand claimed she was convinced her husband James was going to kill her. Pardons are rarely granted in the state of New Hampshire. The last prisoner's pardoned were also alleged victims of domestic abuse. In hopes of helping families cope with their grief, TWA officials held an empty casket funeral for unrecovered victims. The airline held the service this afternoon for the 15 victims of TWA Flight 800 that have never been found. 
Family members of 10 of the victims attended the funeral services. Other relatives are upset over the service, saying the empty caskets represent nothing and that TWA is just trying to sweep the matter under the rug. The jet crashed in the Atlantic Ocean last July, killing all 230 passengers on board. Well, it's time now to check in with Brent Tratton at the 21 Live Weather Center. Brent? Well, snow in Fort Wayne in less than 24 hours. It still looks that way, even as we enjoy a quiet window in the old weather pattern. How much snow are we looking at? Enough for the National Weather Service to issue, issue a winter storm watch. More on that coming up. Keep it, Melissa. Thanks, Brent. Up next, Marty Wright will tell you about a new drug that will help people who suffer from multiple sclerosis. Plus, if you're looking to take a lot of holiday pictures this year, Consumer Reports will tell you how the new advanced photo system works. But first, here's a holiday greeting. Um, I just want to wish Merry Christmas to all my family. Right? Tell them Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. <laughs> Where would you go to find beautiful, handcrafted gifts from around the world? Gifts like German cuckoo clocks, starting at just $77. Ridgeway grandfather clocks, authentic German nutcrackers, Italian musical jewelry boxes, a six-foot halogen floor lamp for just $9.88, and much more. Would you believe all these great gifts can be found at a furniture store? Would you believe Value City Furniture? Christmas never sounded so good. With Viper, we learned to cook. Now we're turning up the heat again. The new Magnum-powered Dodge Dakota. It's full of surprises. We packed our full-size Ram with Magnum Power. Now we're reloading. The new Magnum-powered Dodge Dakota. It's full of surprises. are the ones we've taken off, up to 40% off. Here's the deal. Right now at Value City, you can take 20, 30, or 40% off our entire stock of athletic shoes for men, women, and children. Just look for the specially marked tags. 20, 30, or 40% off all your favorite brands of athletic shoes. That's putting the right foot forward. Value City Department Store. Here's the deal. It's a great place to start your research. Check out the 21 Alive Homework homepage at this address. In medical matters, good news for those who suffer from multiple sclerosis. And so, we'll palsy. 21 Alive's Marty Wright joins. Okay, the Melissa, this newly approved drug will help ease the chronic muscle stiffness that is a hallmark of those diseases. Sanaflex was given the okay by the Food and Drug Administration and becomes the first oral treatment to help those conditions in 20 years. It's not a cure, but in studies, 70% who took Xanaflex improved by varying degrees. Xanaflex will be in pharmacies in February. And a new report uh, emphasizes the uh, need of fiber in our diets. A report appearing in the latest issue of the journal Circulation indicates the more fiber you eat, the lower your risk of heart disease. The six-year study found those who ate more fruits, vegetables, and grains had one-third fewer heart attacks. And finally today, a report from Boston that says taking oral estrogen and alcohol may not mix. Millions of U.S. women take hormone replacement therapy following menopause. But a new study reveals an unexpected association between estrogen and alcohol. Twelve postmenopausal women taking oral estrogen and another hormone, progestin, were compared to an equal number of women not on the drugs. On day one, each drank the equivalent of three to five alcoholic beverages. The next day, a drink without alcohol. We found that a single large alcohol dose led to a marked increase in circulating estrogen levels in postmenopausal women who were receiving estrogen replacement. And I think we don't know whether this type of increase in estrogen may be keeping the benefits the same, but potentially impacting the, the risk-benefit ratio and, and potentially increasing the risk associated with estrogen replacement therapy. 
and that risk is breast cancer. Many studies have shown a link to that in estrogen therapy. But doctors say it's premature to tie the alcohol-induced estrogen levels to breast cancer. But Keith and Melissa, the study says the best advice for women on hormone replacement therapy is to drink in moderation or not at all. As it is with most of us. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, thanks, Marty. <laughs> Well, if you want to point and shoot camera, you will see something new in the stores this holiday season. Twenty One Alliance Picture Lock says many of the big name camera makers are offering cameras with what's called Advanced Photo System, or ACS. Consumer Reports tested to see if they are worth the extra money that they cost. Whether it's Kodak, Canon, Fuji, Minolta, or Nikon, all are raving about their cameras with a new technology called Advanced Photo System, or APS. Salespeople say the advantages start from the moment you load the special APS film pack. The film drops in the camera because it, it's automatically loaded. Consumer Reports' Jim Boyd, who led the testing of seven of the new APS cameras, says it is true APS makes film loading a snap. But comparisons with regular 35mm cameras shows they aren't very hard to load either. One difference is obvious, though the size of the negatives. The OCS negative is about 60% of the area of the 35 millimeter negative. Testers found that means the APS pictures are sometimes a bit grainier, but in some ways they were better. When we judged these prints for color balance and exposure, uh, we found that the APS prints did a little better on the average. The cost of these APS cameras, some of them higher than the regular single lens point and shoot 35 millimeters. Some can cost as much as $300 a piece. That's not all. Developing is also a little bit more expensive, sometimes twice as much. And many of the outlets can't handle the new APS film. The bottom line, Consumer Reports says if APS appeals to you, consider waiting until the prices drop and more film processors are able to handle the new format. Victor Bach, 21 Alive News. Up next, Brent Trannon says, get prepared. We're going to be under a winter storm watch tomorrow morning. Lucky us. Mr. Food will have the best food buys of the week. And later in our entertainment report, one of the stars of the successful new Star Trek film is stepping off the big screen and onto the stage. We'll have the details. Stay with us. The heroin, the arrest, the humiliation. On the next entertainment tonight, Robert Downey Jr. talks about his use of drugs on the set and his days of struggle in a straitjacket. Then, I didn't need Rich and Simmons. I'd eaten Rich and Simmons. Find out the diet secrets that helped 300-pound talk show host Gordon Elliott shed over 100 pounds. Plus, see who's stealing scenes from a nanny. And get dressed with Carmen Electra for her big night on Entertainment Tonight. Wednesday at 5.30 on 21 Live. Hi. Hi. I've been busy. You know... When we put a spending limit on our Christmas gifts mm -hmm. to each other, mm -hmm. I didn't think I could do it. Why mm not? -hmm. I went to clothing stores. Mm -hmm. I went to jewelry stores. I went to shoe stores. Yeah. I went to department stores. I went nuts. Oh, really? I went to Meyer. They say the more you put into something, the more you get out of it. Take Arby's subs. We put more meat into them, up to 50% more meat than even the leading sub place. And Arby's uses only the freshest ingredients with our slow roasted meats. More meat, more taste. When we say it's better out here, this is what we mean. And try Arby's homestyle fries. So good, they even beat McDonald's in a national taste test. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Listen carefully and you can hear it everywhere. <laughs> New GTE customers warming up their jaws for a marathon of free phone chatting. Because now GTE gives you six months of nighttime and weekend calling free, plus a free phone and more. So loosen up those lips and gab for six months free and get free monthly service on a second line for a year. Call 1-800-897-3193. GTE. Now that's amazing. Cool. Life is a real holiday, full of wonder and magic. Life holds secrets to share, stars to wish on, and moments to cherish like treasures. For all the joys of the season, for the real spirit of giving, shop Glenbrook Square, Coldwater Road and Coliseum Boulevard. 
Take a fresh look at the day's news with Keith and Melissa, weeknights at 11, only on 21 Live. So what is this you're handing us? A storm watch or yeah, something? Yeah, great. I think it was uh, issued a little bit earlier this time just because we haven't seen much in the way of snow so far this season. There's a potential for more than three inches, but I think we're going to see less than three. And we were told, telling you earlier this week we're going to see multiple periods of snow or rain with little gaps in between. <laughs> Today was a little bit of a break for us, one of those gaps out there. So maybe you got a chance to uh, decorate the old uh, outside of your house, put up the lights, the uh, Kind of a tricky kind of job that can get all in uh, tangles and kind of job you can get wound up in, I suppose you can say. And if we uh, check out the current conditions now in Fort Wayne, it's 34 degrees, winds out of the south at 7. Checking with our weather spotters in Wabash County. In fact, the southern part of the county at LaFountain Elementary School. We'll talk to Derek uh, Souse and Mrs. Landis' class telling us about mostly cloudy skies. A dry day, good to see the sunshine kind of uh, raising our spirits, I suppose, after a slate gray sky all day yesterday. And again, we're getting a break before the next weather disturbance comes our way. Very rapidly moving out of the plains. Probably another reason we are now under a winter storm. Watch for tomorrow once this storm rolls in by the get-go. As we look for the clouds to thicken through the overnight period. Winter storm watch for all of northeastern Indiana, including our counties in northwestern Ohio. As we look to other areas, in fact, most of the entire state, the Hoosier State, under a winter storm watch beginning with tomorrow and throughout the evening hours all the way down to the southern parts of the state. We look for this area of low pressure to be the culprit as it tracks to the northeast by this time tomorrow, in fact, sitting over much of uh, southern uh, lower Michigan. That's where the bulk of the snow is actually going to be flying at this time tomorrow. Very rarely do we see uh, a lot of snow developing on the southeast side of a storm like that. So I have a hard time uh, accepting what the Weather Service is calling for, the three to five inches. I think we'll see somewhere between one to three. Also, computer models suggest a little bit lighter variety of snow because we're going to have temperatures very marginal in the lower to middle 30s throughout the daytime hours tomorrow. Could be very slick from the get-go tomorrow at about 8 o'clock. Watch out on the roadways before they actually uh, get treated. And we could watch for a little bit of mixture uh, of uh, rain in there as well as some sleep, possibly going into the uh, noon hour as temperatures will be pretty marginal. We look for uh, the most snow often uh, comes when we have temperatures around 32 and 33 degrees, so we watch for that to come our way and then start to diminish in the afternoon and late day hours tomorrow. There's those clouds associated with that storm. We look for some of this gulf moisture to get involved. And lo and behold, we have another storm to watch out for coming into the weekend without much of a break. Once again, a lot of uh, clouds associated with that in the Pacific Northwest right now. As early as Friday night, we'll see those clouds come in, but it's expected to lose some of that moisture across the mountains and uh, probably see a lighter variety of snow with that as well. Tonight, look for about 27 degrees as skies begin to cloud over. Winter storm watching effect for tomorrow, probably one to three inches on the grassy surfaces around the Fort Wayne area. 36 are high temperature. Here's a look at my exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Temperatures as high as 39 on Friday. More snow coming in Friday night and Saturday. Probably less than what we're going to see in this little uh, stint coming up tomorrow. And there you have it. Our picture of the weather is a snowy one from Colleen Matthews from right here in Fort Wayne. Thanks, Colleen, for sending that to us. Keith Melissa. Okay, we're properly warned. Good. Thanks. If you're looking to try gourmet-flavored coffee but don't want to spend a lot of money, then you're in luck. Mr. Cruz says grocery store shelves are full of different types of coffee, and the caffeine pick-me-up is just one of the items you can save money on this week. It's best food buys of the week, or maybe the month. Well, if we take advantage of some of the on-sale items that we're going to need for the upcoming holidays anyway, I mean, if we don't have to buy too many items at the last-minute rush, it's going to be easier. For instance, they're starting with lost leader sales on frozen turkeys. If we buy them now, we get more to choose from, and they'll hold in our freezer as well as the market's freezer. And we're going to want cranberry sauce for it also. Yes, now. And the price is right. Pick up your condiments and your hot sauces and, and, and your beverages, all the entertaining items. You see, we won't have to fight the crowds for them. And pick up some on-sale coffee, whichever brand you like. An extra can or two won't go bad on our shelf for the next few weeks for sure. And flavored coffees are big right now. In fact, anything to do with coffee is big right now. Even filters for your coffee maker or an insulated carafe are having enough for the holiday crowd. Look for the sale. They're out there. And you know the biscotti that, that they're serving in all the coffee stores and cafes? There are super ones in the market. Great for dunking because they hold their crisp. I mean, each bite is like crunchy fun. Matter of fact, if you want a quick, easy recipe for chocolate biscotti, it's just a few ingredients, 
30 minutes in the oven, and they'll hold for weeks on the counter, and they cost next to nothing. Why, we can have a whole batch for what they charge for two pieces. And if you'd like the recipe, just send a self-addressed stamped envelope marked Biscotti. That's B-I-S-C-O-T-T-I. To me, Mr. Food, right here at the station. We'll get it back to you for beating the crowd and beating the later prices. More time for us today. It's so good. Up next in our entertainment report, the captain of the Starship Enterprise is starring in a one-man version of A Christmas Carol. We'll take a look. But first, the Noble County employer is looking for an injection molding assembly person. Production experience is desired. Second and third shift work is available. The pay starts at 8.30 an hour. If you're interested, call the Department of Workforce Development at 447-3575. Mr. Food was brought to you by Panel Mart. Custom quality kitchens without the custom price. What a great tie! <laughs> oh, honey, a sweater. <laughs> I can always use socks. Zbar Tidy Car interrupts this typical holiday gift exchange to suggest some fun to give and fun to get gifts. Shop Zbar and pick up a sunroof, a window tint, professional cleaning inside and out, a remote car starter, truck and van accessories, or a Zbar gift certificate. Shop Zbar for holiday gifts to go. Don't pay retail prices for your computer needs. Come to the computer show and sale this Saturday in Fort Wayne. It's like you can't go to any other one place and find this many different products in one location. Single chip, full computers, Super VGA, CD raw at the computer show and sale this weekend. Millions in merchandise, lots of friendly help. Prices so low they blow the stores away. This Saturday at the Allen County Fairgrounds in Fort Wayne. Only one word can describe how Chevy Blazer owners feel about winter. Ah Get in on the fun this winter with a Chevy Blazer with a standard V6 Vortec engine, four-wheel anti-lock brakes, and a limited-time payment of just $289 a month. No wonder the Chevy Blazer is the number one selling sport utility vehicle in Northeast Indiana. So see the 97 Blazers at your Northeast Indiana Chevy dealers today. Otherwise, it's just going to be another long, boring winter. Big Lots presents Santa. With the old down sick, what do I do? Don't worry, Santa. There's plenty of great gifts at Big Lots. Give someone you love a beautiful angel watch, only $8.99 each. And don't miss our big Remington buyout. Travel steamer or hair dryer, just $8.99 each. And haircut or hairstyle kits, your choice, only $17.99 at Big Lots. One day it's this, one day it's that. But every day, it's the price. Whoa! Used to be there was only one big guy out there delivering pizzas. Then an upstart came along. <laughs> and with each passing year, you saw more and more Papa John's cars. Perhaps that's because Papa John's uses better ingredients. And better ingredients make a better pizza. It's made us the fastest growing pizza chain in America. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Pick five for a real winner. Papa's Choice. Up to five toppings for just $10.99. Need a job? Watch Help Wanted weekday mornings from 5.30 to 7, only on 21 Alive. Patrick Stewart is probably better known for his role as captain of the Starship Enterprise. But the English actor actually has a theater background. Entertainment reporter Linda Moore talked to the actor as he was preparing to star on the stage in a one-man version of A Christmas Carol. Patrick Stewart is guiding his Starship Enterprise to box office heaven. Huge ticket sales for Star Trek First Contact have made the latest Trek adventure a full-fledged hit. Undoubtedly it was going to do well, but this well, did you guys expect this much? No. No. Really? no. Nonetheless, with the movie orbiting out of this world, where does Captain Jean-Luc Picard touch down on Earth? In this little old dusty theater in Hollywood to perform Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. Left up as though he cried, I know! I'm alone here on stage for, well, about an hour and 50 minutes. No costume. Well, I, I do wear clothing, but it's a simple suit. No scenery, no special effects, no, uh, no blue screen, no opticals, no ILM. None of those wonderful things that have created all of that magic in our movie. <laughs> it's Stewart, so solo, in fact, he plays all 40 of the Christmas Carol's characters. 
who I was. Well, who were you then? In life, I was your partner. So why is Stewart driven to go bare bones when he could live just fine off of the big budget blockbusters? I'm continually intrigued by the techniques of film acting. But one thing that you don't have is total control. Whereas here, particularly with the kind of thing that Christmas Carol is, um, if it works, it works because of me. If it doesn't, it doesn't work because of me. Long life to Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. In Hollywood, I'm Linda Moore reporting. Patrick Stewart is no stranger to the Dickens play. He's performed a Christmas Carol in England. On Wall Street, the stock market finished the day down. The Dow Industrials dropped almost 20 points. Trading was heavy. The Nasdaq composite was down over three. Utilities up almost one. Transportation down less than one. This new car is powered by Dodger's 3.5 liter V6. Has a four-wheel independent suspension and quick ratio steering, which make it a perfect choice at the Skip Barber Pro Series. Or, if you prefer, it's available in this five-seater as well. The new Dodge Intrepid Sport. This changes everything. See your friendly Dodge dealer today and get up to $1,000 cash savings on Intrepid. Now that you've got your tree, come to Target for gifts to put under it, like the latest and greatest in camera technology, the advanced photo system Fuji Endeavor 200 for 188 And be sure to bring your film to Target for our next day developing service. Next day or free, seven days a week. The toughest foe of the holidays, bad gifts. This year, Joe took matters into his own hands. In a roundabout way, he suggested Ed take a trip to Best Buy, where he won't have to wrestle with payments until 1998. And he found an all-star selection of fun gifts. Find the fun in everyone at Best Buy. <laughs> the tissue, Ed. Hi, I'm Don Root, president of RNC Fence and Casual Living Center, inviting you to our showroom for the area's largest selection of steeple and pool tables. Steepleton tables offer American-made quality at an affordable price. We also carry a great selection of game tables and accessories, featuring your favorite team logos. We offer six-month interest-free financing, and buy a pool table before January 31st, and we'll throw in a ping-pong converter top. RNC Fence and Casual Living Center, 3326 Ingle Road, Fort Wayne. slices of melted cheese, eight strips of crispy bacon. They say the world is getting smaller, but what's really happened is that the burger has gotten bigger. Introducing the Monster Burger, only from Hardee's. What will they think of next? Get your Indiana and Ohio lottery numbers seven nights a week at 11 on 21 Alive. 21 Alive's Marty Wright joins us now with a look at the stories we'll be bringing you at 6. Well, Keith, coming up in about a half hour from the 21 Alive newsroom, a former Indiana State Trooper appears in court today on the wrong side of the law. We'll have the latest. The Metro Human Relations Commission is one step away from dissolving. We'll let you know what that means to you. Plus, one of Garrett's landmarks gets a facelift out in 21 Country. We'll have these stories and much more from the 21 Alive newsroom at 6. Melissa? Frank, what do you have for us? It's going to look like a winter wonderland tomorrow, and that's why we have a winter storm watch that has been issued for tomorrow by the National Weather Service. Could see about three inches of the white stuff with temperatures in the low to mid-30s. Keith Melissa. And finally, tonight, this is the season of giving, and one area business is giving the less fortunate, the better, the gift of better eyesight. Lens Crafters is teaming up with Matthew 25 to give people who need glasses but can't afford them a free pair. All morning long, over 30 people were fitted for new glasses. For Lens Crafters, this is a perfect way to give in the season of giving. It's wonderful. In fact, today we just had somebody who just shook one of our associates hand and said, thank you so much, and just that gave me the goosebumps. <laughs> really, really happy to be a part of it. More than 600 Lens Crafters around the country are participating in the free glasses program. That's great. Sure is. 
That's the very latest from 21 Alive News at 5. Thanks for joining us. We are back at 6 with a complete look at today's top local stories. Stay tuned to WPGA for entertainment tonight. Coming up next. Take care. We'll see you in a bit. More people get their news from 21 Alive News than from any other local news source.